Earlier today at the Sports Court Convention in Turkey, we caught up with Hungarian world champion swimmer Kotinka Hosu, who discussed her route into swimming and her hopes for the future. Well, I'm here with Fina, so I'm representing the swimmers. And well, today we were talking at the youth club about how you know we can inspire the the young generation to be in, involved in sports. And I think it's really important to you know kind of push the younger generation to 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 have goals and and to be involved in sport. It would be really helpful. I think either way, if they're going to be professional athletes or not, I think being involved in sports when they are young, it definitely helps later on their, with their lives. And can you tell us about how you got involved in swimming to begin with and then how you graduated into competitive swimming? I was really lucky actually because my grandfather was a swim coach. So he taught me to swim when I was really little. He already took me to the pool. I don't even remember the first time I went to the pool. So I started competitive swimming when I was six. So basically I've been swimming my whole life. Um, I was swimming uh, in my hometown in Baya, which is a really small town in Hungary, until I was 19 years old. And then I got offered the scholarship at the University of Southern California. So I swam there for four years and then I graduated in 2012 in May. And then after the London Olympics, I moved back to Hungary. So now I, I swim back uh, in Budapest. I train there most of the time when I don't travel. Um, it was hard for me to, to, to basically have the transition from just being a swimmer and a student and decide if I want to have a career or I want to be a professional athlete. It was, it was not easy. And, you know, I had to invest in it definitely to, to you know, to decide. And, and I, that's all I do now is to be a professional swimmer. And your dedication and hard work has, has paid off. You're, you're a champion swimmer now <laughs> and uh, an inspiration, I'm sure, to, to many young boys and girls around the world. What advice would you give to them, to those looking to, to go into swimming? You know, nowadays a lot of kids, you know, ask me, like, tell me what I need to do to be a champion. It's really hard to just say some... Just, just one sentence or a few test sentences and I tell you exactly what you need to do to be a champion. But if, if I would really need to just put in one sentence, I would definitely say that you, know, you just can't give up and if you just keep working hard, the results will be coming. You, know, you just have to be patient because sometimes it comes a lot longer than you would like to. You are a three times world champion. Uh, I hope I'm correct. Uh, you don't have an uh, Olympic medal. No. Uh, it's the uh, biggest mission for you now. <laughs> Definitely, yes. Uh, actually, that I don't have an Olympic medal, it's kind of making my career right now. Um, after I graduated from uh, college in May 2012, when I went to into London Olympics, I felt like if I'm not getting a medal now, I don't think I want to be or I can be a professional swimmer because, you know, swimmers without Olympic medals, I mean, they usually say, okay, they're good, but, you know, having an Olympic medal is something that makes you big in swimming. And so that was something I was really afraid of going into the Olympics and I think it put a lot of pressure on me and, of course, I came in fourth and I missed the podium by just a few tenths of a second and, uh, you know, after I was pretty devastated that I didn't get the medal, but uh, I decided and with my husband together that we're going to invest our money and try to be a professional anyway. Sorry. So I was, uh, um, so I, I, we decided I would like to try to be a professional anyway and it's not very easy in swimming to, you know, to make a living and that's something I'm, I'm really trying to push for and trying to lead as an example to, to, you know, to swim more often in one year and try to be really a professional just like we can look at, I mean, we can look at track and field but of course, you know, team sports are doing it even better because you have the fans that are really um, watching you all the time. So that's something I, I would like to do. Is Rio the last chance for you? I don't think so. Uh, I actually really started to love swimming again a lot more than I did before. I'm, I'm really not afraid anymore. I feel like uh, I've done uh, a lot for swimming and swimming has done a lot for me too. So I'm just really enjoying the journey. So if I don't get a medal in Rio, I'm, I'm really okay with that. So, so I think going into Olympics without a big pressure, it's, it's even easier in a way. 
And I, I really would like to swim even after Rio. I think, uh, you know, that's what I'm trying to do to, to have a professional career. And I think swimmers can have a longer career as well as just usually we don't, you know, have the financial backing to do it longer than, than on average age here. Now it's probably like 25 or 26 is the average age that swimmers are, are swimming until, and I think it's, just, it's a little too young. Earlier today, the, the forms were signed to, to confirm that the, the FINA aquatic conventions will take place in Doha and Qatar later this year. Can you tell us a bit more about the event and how much you're looking forward to, to taking part in it as well? I'm actually really looking forward to take a part and, you know, in Doha and, and um, we've been to Doha and Dubai. They actually organize the World Cup stops as well during the World Cup series. And uh, I see a lot more swimmers there. At the beginning, you know, they didn't have so many participants, but it seems like that swimming is be becoming even more popular there. And I think hosting events like this is going to be helping them even more. And regarding the position of uh, women in swimming, I mean, uh, we have uh, some um, important models as uh, Federica Pellegrini, which uh, the Italian press is more interested in the love story than in the, yeah. but also in the results. So, uh, how you can feel uh, the, um, the model of the female swimmer as uh, um, can become uh, an icon in the sports and how they can do important? I think it's, you know, it's really important to have personality behind the swimmers as well. And, I think we can still improve a lot. Uh, I mean, in swimming, you know, we are, I think, pretty lucky in the women's side because almost just as many people watch women's swimming than they do men's swimming. You know, in other sports, let's say, you know, it's even soccer or basketball. A lot more people are watching men's uh, basketball than women. So, uh, thankfully, in that way, we don't have to fight as much. I think we have to fight as a whole swimming to be more popular.